Hey, what's going on, guys? So, in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to improve your common mode rejection ratio using a technique called the right leg drive. So, let's begin. So, one of the most uh, common problems that you would uh, have to deal with in uh, biomedical instrumentation is the 60 hertz uh, uh, coupling with your patient. So whenever you measure something, you always have this this base baseline cone mode uh, signal that is around 60 hertz, and that's going to be a, a big problem since your target signal, like your ECG signal, is only in the range of uh, anywhere from 10 microvolts to you know 10 10 millivolts. So what you want to do is you want to reject this common mode voltage and and then amplify your uh, target signal. So let me just first uh, explain the the general uh, circuit and some of the basic ideas, and then we'll go on further and explore how you derive the, the come up with these equations that they don't normally tell you in the book. All right, so let me just uh, first draw out the basic uh, uh, schematic. So the idea here is that somewhere between your buffer and your differential amplifier over here, you want to tap this line right here, the output of this top buffer, and then use two resistors that has low tolerance so you can have an equal d divider here. Let's call this resistor RA, resistor RA. And then, of course, I'll explain uh, how you uh, would come up with the equation later on, but just bear with me here. So let me use a different color. Okay. So this is where you have your negative feedback to lower your common mode signal that it will feed into the, the the patient's right leg. So over here you have a feedback resistor. And this right here is R out. This basically uh, is one of the two resistors that helps protect the patient if there is uh, a fault. By fault, I mean an electrical fault. Okay. And then, uh, so this is basically uh, the, the right leg circuit right here. And then this, of course, will be uh, connected to the patient's right leg and then we can model the resistance called our right leg and hence that's where the name uh, right leg drive uh, comes from okay so what else did I miss so yeah so this is actually the electro resistance okay this is the E3 electro resistance. At first I was confused, I thought those like the patient's right leg resistance, but in the book they actually say it's the electro uh, resistance. And this is the the worst case, it, they, they said it's, uh, it's around 100 uh, kilo ohms. It's the worst case scenario. So uh, I think this is uh, it for the intro. Uh, in the next video I'll go over the different scenarios and how this can help uh, protect the patient and how during uh, non-saturation uh, non-saturated uh, operation uh, this will help drive down the cone mode voltage uh, okay thanks for watching uh, see you in the next video